The Keystone Springdale line of travel trailers, entry level, but has amenities that you're going to find standard that a lot of the campers consider as options. And if you've been looking for a rear bath model, wait until you see this one. You know, when it comes to rear bath travel trailers with space, style, comfort, and amenities, I get a chance to see a lot of them. I do, and I love them, especially if you're an adventurous couple. You're looking to get out and about. You want to see the country, but you want space, amenities from home. The Keystone Springdale 274RB. This is nice. This is very nice because it's Keystone, number one, you know, which is the line of travel trailers that has been introducing families and couples to camping more than any other line that Keystone makes. Solid manufacturing, quality. I mean, dealers love them and people love them too. It's just a good overall line of campers. And then when you find out that it's technically entry level, you're like, well, wait a minute. I get a radius shower, a neo angle here with the glass doors. Plenty of space, my corner notches, my giant skylight, not cramped left to right, up or down. Get my privacy with the glass enclosures. And this is entry level? Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. The whole entire back wall of this camper is dominated by the, by the bathroom, which is why this is an RB or rear bath. Solid wood construction. This is the um, Ozark decor. So you're gonna see a lot of the light on dark accents here, but just beautiful, rustic and functional. Look at the space that we have here. Good storage spot for your towels, your toiletries. But then we come over here against the campsite wall and look, I'm gonna shut the door. Bob and I are in here plenty of room. You're not going to be cramped. So if one person's taking a shower or getting stuff out, doing whatever, you got the space over here for some countertop prep area, a plug, a large single basin sink. I got the mirrored medicine cabinet. The only thing I don't like about these, they don't have the raised lips. Wish they did because that helps keep stuff in place while we're in transit. Got me some storage spots underneath. And you're going to notice you got the red and the blue pipes down there for the cold and the hot. Um, Keystone has this process where they color code everything from the pipes to the wires. And that makes it so much easier to find and to fix. You're not chasing stuff around. But look at my storage that I have here on the campsite. Boom. That is some space when you're in there. Look at this. Look at this. It's so much space. We just made Bobby drop the camera. I mean, you can, you can put a Bobby in here. It's hi. This is the hideaway. This is where if you want to put, you know, those Girl Scout cookies that everybody else finding, boom. You need space for the clothes, the hunting gear, the fishing gear. That's where you're going to put it. And then you come out and you say, okay, well, surely they don't have a whole lot of pantry space then. Uh, Okay. We have a walk-in pantry slash wardrobe closet. Get in there, Bobby. Big enough to fit a Bob. And that's a beautiful thing. Plus we have the hangers in there. You got the shelves. And the great thing about RVs, if you want to customize it a little bit, you could take those shelves out if you wanted. Uh, also, Bob, I'm leaving you in there for the rest of it. This thing is now locked. Knock three times, I might let you out. Um, Come out into the living space and the super slide over here on the off camp side really opens up the entertainment area. Now I, I call rear baths, mostly couples travel trailers, because a lot of times you don't get as much sleeping space in a rear bath as you do in some conventionals. But, uh, this one, absolutely for the family. You got the reconnection spot, the entertaining spot right here on a plush jackknife sofa. Take a look at how thick and plush this cushion is. This folds out into a sleeper. The armrests move. You can use them as a pillow or just, you know, not even use them if you don't want to. But I have some of the largest in class windows, wood balances that are decorative. I got the privacy curtains. I got my suspension netting in the metal with dual USB charging ports right there. I got a little LED accent lights. If I want to cut that on, boop. And now I got accent lights under the booth dinette. But this is the entertainment spot. You could easily sleep an adult here or two kids, get two in the booth dinette, which we had down right here so you could see that. And now this is a family camper, or this is that ladies weekend getaway, or the guys hunting trip, or the guys weekend getaway. But imagine taking the ladies out, 
For the wine tour, you got enough space to entertain, to hang, and to sleep. Set this bad boy up. You got insulation. You got plenty of space, storage. You got storage underneath each one of these. And check this out. The table right here, which is currently in the down position, you can remove. You can take it outside if you want. It also lifts up and that's your dining table, but it's not hard mounted. You can use it outside. Versatility and functionality plus beauty. Look at the woodwork that we have in the solid slide. Come back over here on the campsite. I got the rustic distressed look here on my panel, entertainment, TV backer, my cable connections, my satellite connection, my power. I got my component shelf right here. Up top, I got some more storage. And these come already prepped for the WineGuard Wi-Fi extender. That's a separate antenna that will extend your 4G, your LTE, your Wi-Fi, the same way it does VHF and UHF. It's pretty cool. Jensen Command Center right here, CD, DVD player, plus your speakers, dual zones, and is USB. Awesome, absolutely awesome, right above a beautiful fireplace. Yes, entry level with fireplace. Knocks the chill off the air, multiple flame settings, over, I mean, it's 30 inches. Come on, man. 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. So if you're going to do some boondocking, you don't have to worry about running out of gas just to run the fridge, keep stuff uh, cold. Plus, since it's 12 volt, it can run off the battery. Vibration smart. The Everchill. It's got the safety lock. I mean, some of those little features that are standard on the Springdale's that are options on many other campers. For example, LED accent light on top of my top of my slide got the AC with the quick cool got furnace with tough lock joints in between the uh, ducting that makes sure that you don't have soft spots in the flooring that's another keystone innovation so equal distribution of the air convenient and efficient distribution of the heat uh, when you're talking about a 30,000 BTU furnace a 13.5 BTU air conditioner uh, some of them have 15,000 it's I mean, the temperature is going to be where you want it to be, but with our ratings, with the insulation ratings, because you're talking about 82 inches of height in here, we got foam core here, we got foam core on the sides. It's about where you're going to take it. I would love to talk to you about four season camping and what that means, but that's different to somebody in Miami, just like it is different to somebody in Buffalo. So when you talk to your specialist at Camping World or Gander, tell them this is where I'm going to take my camper. What does the insulation mean and what's right for me? Let them kind of guide you through that process. Campside kitchen over here, L-shaped or kind of Neo L-shaped. Plenty of countertop space here. You got the solid surface countertop, seamless. Plenty of room. Look at this undermounted sink with the sprayer right there. Residential and beautiful. Large window here on the campsite. Wood balance, LED lights. Got light on my range. Glass cover on my three burner cooktop here with the grill style. Great. Just makes life easier moving the pots and pans around. You want to make up your uh, beef sandwiches, those stroganoffs, your Irish pies, your the whole nines. Man, you do it all. Bam. Even got an oven. You want a baker to ducking? Go for it. Got the spot in space right there. Got the blue accent light on the controls. Great for a nightlight. Flush mounted graystone, high output microwave and plenty of space up here for a couple or for a family. And that's what Keystone was thinking about. This could be used for the couple or the family. Coming to the master, not only do we have a solid pocket door that's separating us from the living area, we have our own access point. So if you do use this for the family or for the getaways, you can come and go as you please. The family members can come and go as they please. You know, you're not going to wake people up if you want to go see, you know, just go sit on the beach, watch the moon. Nothing wrong with it. Queen size bed right here in the master. This is a walk around. We have plenty of nightstand space as well. Power ports on both sides. Plus I got my little suspension net pocket hangers right here. Love those. That's a good spot for your uh, cell phones. Plus when you're traveling, you can put stuff there that won't fall out, you know, cause it's gonna hold it there. Two storage shelves up here. Cause having 82 inches of height really helps uh, give us that area to do that. Mirrored wards on both sides. I got storage underneath my queen size bed, right? Chow. Oh, would you look at it? Got room, you'll put the bags in there, the hunting gear, the fishing gear, whatever you want to put. But what I thought was pretty cool over here on the campsite, you got a little laundry chute. 
So yeah, man, you get to come back from the beach, you're dirty, you're funky, you want to put the sandy stuff down in there, don't have to keep it inside the camper, let it stink up the pass-through storage, why not? Hey man, your camper is your camper. That's what's great about it. And when you're looking for feature, style, amenity, construction, entry level, Keystone Springdale tops the list. You really got to check them out. All right, so we've seen the inside of this 274 rear bath travel trailer. What do you say we go check out the outside, see what they've done there for 2021? So here we are on the outside of the all-new 2021 Keystone Springdale 274 RB. Great rear bath travel trailer for that family, that couple looking to upgrade, get some amenities. Start right up front. Twin 20-pound LP tanks right behind my power tongue jack with the LED light. This is a nice half for any camper that you get, especially for setting up or hooking up. Got the rough plated rock guard here. You got that fiberglass super flex roof going all the way over the top. One of the industry's best warranties, three years. That's super important because warranty is, you know, everything. Cause you don't know what's gonna happen to your camper when you take it out. Come over here on the campsite. We got the finished off pass through storage, which also has a little mushroom LED lights right there. Good spot for the wet stuff, the towels, the beach chairs, whatever you need. Plus, you got the anti slam doors. Just lock those in place. Another feature on these that's considered an option for most other entry levels power leveling jacks. That's a great have, man. I mean, ease of setting up instead of doing the hand crank. Plus, it's an enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, which means the heat's in there. If you're going through some cold weather, your tanks and your pipes won't freeze. Fold up stairs going into my master bedroom right here. Got the solid grab handle, 20 foot awning with the LED light strip underneath. And you had the LED lights coming out of those external speakers that are all weather. Great for that dual sound, sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around. And you remember uh, inside how the table for the booth dinette is not mounted so you can take it outside. Bring it out here. You got a TV mount, cable connection and power. Set it up so you can enjoy the meals that you cook on your outside kitchen, which we're gonna to get to here in just a second. Nitro filled tires, 15 inch aluminum rims, extra wide berth here on the suspension. And of course you got the Dexter Easy Lube axles. What does that mean? Exactly that, it's easy to lube them when it comes time to do it. It's got the nozzle in there. You just pump the grease until you see the old grease come out. There you go, bada bing, easy, right? Yes. And the extra wide berth kind of helps with that rocking going down the road. You're not going to have, you know, the sway as much because that suspension is in there. Solid steps. And right here at the top, we have the extra large step here on the first step, which having this is nice because they always say that first step is a doozy, but this is also pet friendly. So if you want to bring the pets along with you, it's easier for them to get in as well friction hinge door so the wind's not going to move it it's going to stay where you want it to stay plus you got that 26 inch access point and extra large grab handle doubles as a door guard but main check out my external kitchen i even got my little additional cutting board right here or as i like to call it the dj board quick wicky quick quick where's my fish you can do all your prep and stuff right here if you want it you could also do it over there, you got the dual USB charging ports if you want to plug in. But let's say you just drain the lake. You got a GE fridge here. Plenty of space for that outside entertainment. You got the kids. They got their juice boxes. You got the water bottles. You got whatever you need. Plenty of space. The shelves are adjustable. I got my Suburban two burner cooktop. If I want to bring my grill, yep, I got myself an LP quick access point down beneath. Close this up, suspension supported on the cover here. So not only can this help keep me out of the elements, but I'm over 6'2", and you got plenty of headroom in here. Shaquille O'Neal, you might have an issue, but other than that, you're good to go. Close that up, lock it up, you're good to go. Four by four sewer hose storage right behind our rear powered leveling jacks. If you notice the refrigerator, there was a coiled up uh, water nozzle, spray nozzle. That's for your external spray port right there. And you plug that in, spray stuff off. If you wanna clean off the kids, you got an external shower or the pets. Hot and cold on this, plus another feature that's great to have is a black tank flush. You don't see that a lot on entry level campers. Spare tire mounted back here. Arch ceilings with those three inch rubber nozzles help keep the elements off the top of this camper. Plus those nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you, the awning or your friends. Set up for Wi-Fi, or excuse me, set up for backup prep as well. Backup camera. 
come around here to the off camp on the rear. We got our cable connection. We got our main terminations and sewer outlet connections, your gray tanks, your black tanks. 50 amp plug right here, giving us the juice. True fit slide. That's another Keystone innovation. Not only is it sealed all the way around, but these things are built to truly fit inside the slide housing. Or the gray tank, by the way, is right under there. You'll see the termination right there. Um, and having it true fit means it reduces the components to move it in and out. Reducing components means reducing things that can break. Big key component right there. City water connection, fresh water connection right here. Other side of our pass-through storage. But probably the most important part of any RV that you're going to look at is going to be this info panel. Shows you the weight. For example, unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 6,900 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 9,500 pounds. So for something that's roughly 34 feet long, um, can easily sleep six people, I'll say. Yeah, I mean, a jackknife's level one. Okay, so let's say five. But if you got kids, six. Um, ask your specialist at Camping World and Gander, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this right for me? Because the insulation, the weight, how many people you need to sleep, let them guide you through that process because it's going to be different whatever part of the country that you're in. But if you're a family and you want a rear bath model with a ton of amenities that's entry level pricing, you got to check out the Keystone Springdale, especially this 274 RB. Only a few things inside I would change, but I'd love to hear from you. What'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? Leave me some comments down below and let me know. Uh, plus, if you would, click like, subscribe, and notify, because when we do get a new video out, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope I get a chance to hear from you soon. But until then, come check out a camper, because they are fun. I'll see you soon.